Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today it's day two of my travel vlogs and we're going to this place right here. Oh, there's a hair tie on it. Um, Nakamanjuru and it says, here you can stroll along the cherry blossoms lined river. Flick through art books, buy vintage clothes and eat organic food from Kyoto. So that is where we're going and some places are uh, like the Traveller's Factory, which everyone's recommended me to go to. Lots of cafes and little cute shops. So yeah, that's in my Hello Sandwich book. Um, I'm just going to go downstairs and eat some breakfast because my host family makes me food breakfast every morning. So I'm going to go eat some pancakes. It's so nice, Good. so convenient. <laughs> No confusion. Yeah. So I've got my pancakes, my tea, and what did she say this was? Um, jam. Jam, yeah. <laughs> and Pucha, who got away from his tied up leash. Okay, yes. Pucha! No, no, no! So this is my half pancake I get to try today. <laughs> So this is my outfit for today. I've just got my stripy tee I got from factory. This skirt here is just from the upshop. I think I got it like four bucks. And my cunnies. And then my hair's been getting really frizzy and I don't know why. So um, I've just put it in a plait so it doesn't get all frizzy at the front. So hopefully it doesn't go too wavy. Chan, you ate my pancake and you weren't allowed to. Oh no, there's a car on it. But look, there is a little river down here. But it's a really shallow river. And I've just got some food. And um, I'm just trying to find a place to sit and eat. So I was told in my little guidebook that there's supposed to be um, a river to sit down and eat, or at least a garden, like a nice garden. So I'm hoping I'm walking in the right direction, but basically I'm just walking aimlessly until I find somewhere. <laughs> So the first thing I got from the shops was this um, triangle thing. I'm hoping it's sushi, but there's lots of different colors. This was the green one, so <laughs> I thought maybe vegetarian, but I have no idea what's gonna be inside that. Then I've also got a little salad. I knew this one was chicken. I definitely knew this one was chicken. The other ones were deep fried, so I wasn't taking a gamble what was inside of it. And that kind of looks like a coleslaw and then just normal. Um, let us. I want to sweep them down there. Alright, I'm gonna eat my food, I'm starving. So, basically, it's just showing you what a traditional Japanese house looks like. There's nowhere that says I need to pay and there's no one telling me to go yet and there's a garden over there that smiled at me so I'm guessing I'm allowed to be here. <laughs> oh my god, look, there's fish in the pond. Big 
ones. <gasps> Can you see that? Awesome. It's like feed me. Oh, look how many there are over here. Oh, they're all coming. Look how cute this shop is. Everything inside has bunnies on it. And then this little guy here talks to you. Look. Hello. My name is Brittany. <laughs> I found it. Look, the Travels Factory. And it took me like two hours to find this because look where I am. There's a little street there. A little street there and a little street there. Why don't they make this easy on people? So I've just got back from the city and I've come home. I've called my mama to let her know I'm safe, but I've also texted Dan to let him know what I was doing. And as I was walking home, I saw that there is a dollar sushi train. Ah! I'm so excited. So every plate is 100 yen, and in Australian dollars, that's about a dollar ten. So it's close enough. There is nothing like that in Australia. The closest we have to it is two dollar fifty sushi train day, but I am so excited for this. So let's go. Alright, so I finally did it. So, it told me that I had to eat five plates in order to play this game. So, I was full off the third plate, but I really, really wanted to play because the guy next to me won a little toy. And only in Japan, right? So you put this little plate in that slot there. And then you watch the little um, cartoon that comes on the screen. And then if you win, a ball drops and it comes out in this little slot that says 29. Okay. I'm so excited. Eating five plates and making myself feel sick is worth it. What's inside? All right, so it wasn't that exciting. It's just a Dragon Ball Z character, but still, I think it was worth the run of it. Um, today I'm going into the city and I'm meeting with Miyuki 
and um, hopefully we'll do a bit more stationary shopping. Um, when I went downstairs today there is three more people living here so it is completely full house. Um, there's a girl from Cairns, Australia and there's two boys from Taiwan and um, um, Poo Chan ate the boys pancakes and I asked the host um, family if um, this happens often and she goes um, Poo Chan eats about 50% of the travelers pancakes so it is something that Poo Chan does every morning so let's go and um, I'll show you my full outfit but basically I had to put my hair up in these um, little um, plaits just because it was so crazy but it doesn't look too bad so let's go This is yeah. wow. Oh, oh, look at the look at the room. There's like two oh, moving. Oh my god, I gotta get the close up on that one. this Barbie instant camera and look how cute these ones are they're like retro they're like sketch pads so this is Shibuya and this is the famous crossing Saturday's up for the points. <laughs> Saturday's up for the points. Saturday's up for the points. So, can you say fair dingum? Fair dingum. <laughs> oh my god. So I've just met a guy who um, came up to me while I was filming the standing sushi place and he goes, oh, I I had to come see you because I, I would kick myself if I didn't say hi because you're blonde and it looks real and I was like, oh, thank you. And then I was like, oh, I'm trying to find some sushi and he goes, do you like standing? And um, I was like, not really, so he showed me this place called Genki Sushi and he goes, it's the most common sushi place for people to go to. And then he was telling me all this like slang that he'd learned um, about Aussies, he kept saying, oh, um, true blue and stuff like that, so it was so funny. <laughs> I 
I've never seen this much stationery in my life. This is over. <laughs> And lastly is Daiso, and I am so stationary out that I don't want to see stationary again after today. <laughs> <laughs> so there's three buttons and you press one of them and then you stick your hand in that little <laughs> opening and then you get something and you want that it's a surprise and it's free so she said if you have time and you want to line up later yeah So today I went to Loft, Tokyo Hands and Daiso and yesterday I went to the Travelers Factory in Heidi and tomorrow I'm going to go to Paper Message and Sublo 36. So I hope you enjoyed coming stationery shopping with me today. I'm not going to do my stationery haul until I get those last two stationery shops done. Um, and then hopefully a haul video will come soon because I'm super keen to show you guys what I bought. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next few videos. Bye!